Sorry, if Habib O'Connor suddenly get injured, will you be ready to replace one of them? Will I? Replace one of them. Will I? <laughs> no, man. I'm always ready. You don't have to ask that question. You're new, aren't you? I don't remember your face. <laughs> Has the UFC approached you to be an alternate in case that happens? It's in my contract. So all these motherfuckers that are out there on TMZ trying to talk and saying they're the next. Nah, I'm next. But I'm the first. I'm the last, too. Are you going to be checking out the quintet on Friday? I believe so, yeah. But all my focus is going to be towards the weight cut and all the other good stuff that's here for all in UFC. So, of course, I'll be supporting. Tony, what do you like about this stylistic matchup against Anthony? He was pretty excited because you feel like you're a guy who, who brings it every time. He throws kicks off a cage, I throw Superman punches, it works. Come on guys, your questions are fucking lame, let's go. <laughs> Do you have any questions for us? No. <laughs> Why is Mike Langley your favorite ninja person? Fucking nunchucks, man. Nunchucks and pizza, the dude's a goofball. He's got humility on him, man, because he don't care what anybody thinks. He rides a skateboard, he does his own thing. He doesn't have to be the brains of it, but he's pretty fucking smart, I guarantee you. Probably can fucking be like Raph, a little too Raph. But ultimate reality, though, it's just about having fun. When you're out there tense, it's hard to fucking throw a punch. When you're loose and you're having fun, you're out there doing the salsa dancing like I was in Mexico. And lighting RDL up like a Christmas tree.